Today's beading project will surely have you in knots, a little French beaded bow that is so versatile from decorating gift boxes, used as Christmas ornaments, or even turn into an a brooch pin. You don't want to miss this. Hi everyone, my name is Fen Lee, designer here at the Bead Floor Studio. I'll be showing you how to make these quick little beaded bows. They are so fast to rip up to decorate your gifts. This project uses a variation of a technique I developed called the Continuous Split Basic. It is an intermediate project, but I will put three prerequisite PDFs and videos in the description. Review those videos and then come back here to this video to make these bows if you are a beginner. You can also download the free PDF for this project. Check out the description for all the links. I'll be using size 11 seed beads and 24 gauge copper core wire in the bead color. String 17 inches of size 11 seed beads on a spool of 24 gauge copper core wire. Let's start out by counting 20 beads for the first loop for the bow. So 20 right here. Let's move the beads, the other beads down. And let's measure out eight inches for the top basic wire here. So let's mark this spot here for eight inches. And then here we're gonna leave about three inches for the twisted wire and a loop. And that's, we don't need to twist too much, maybe about um, four quick twists, maybe three or four. And here we're gonna make a rounded top and rounded bottom. If the top basic wire bothers you, just kind of roll it up a little bit. Just kind of get it out of the way. Now let's make rounded top. And a rounded bottom here. You want to make sure that um, this wrap here is nice and secure. If it's not, um, you may need to do another one. Next, let's lace along the middle here. And I do have some 30 gauge wire right here. It's about an inch or so, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to start lacing along the middle. And wrap it around twice at the end here. So next, undo the top basic wire. Now bend this here over your finger to create a loop. And then take the top basic wire and wrap it around the base here to finish, to close the loop. Just wrap it around twice to make sure that it's nice and secure and pull. I'm just gonna stick my pinky in there, you can stick a pencil in there or anything like that, okay? All right, so now straighten out the um, top piece of wire and twist these two wires together about one quarter inch. Now the thing with the twisted wire, the longer the length that you have with the twisted wire, the more of a center that you can have. So if you want a bigger center, make the twisted wire a little bit bigger. Or if you want a smaller center, um, make it um, a little bit smaller. All right, so let's string on 20 beads on to the top basic wire here. And 
And again, we're going to make a rounded top and a rounded bottom here. Now pull onto the working wire, make sure it's nice and secure. Now let's take the lacing wire and lace along the middle here. Again, to make the next loop, mold it over your finger. Connect the bases and wrap with the top basic wire here. So we straighten out this tail wire here and undo any twists in the loop here. And let's cut the loop. So now we have two more tail wires here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Now let's feed more beads from the spool. And we're going to wrap it around the um, twisted wire here to make the center. You can. Okay, so I have three wraps here for the center. Okay, I'm going to turn to the back here. Now push the beads up and where the uh, working wire and um, this tail wire meet, let's remove the excess beads right here. Hold on to the center um, with your hand. And then we're going to twist the working wire and this tail wire here together. Just once. Just make sure that it is very tightly at the base here. So once, maybe twice. Um, you don't want to twist too much because you just want to have one wrap. So yeah, that looks good here. Very tightly at the base there. Now let's string on 20 beads for the tail. Now feed the beads on. And we're going to make a pointed top. Hold on to the beads here so that it lines up with the first row here. And then we're going to make a pointed top. And then right at the uh, base here, we're going to do a rounded bottom. Hold on to this here tightly. Okay, and I'm going to wrap it around twice because I want it to be nice and secure. And then bring the working wire to the back right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around to the back, hold on to the center here with my fingers, hold on to it very securely, and then pull on the working wire gently so that the, the base of the tail is, comes up a little bit so that the uh, tail is as close to the base as possible and that hides any of the wires that you may see back here. Now next we're going to take the working wire and the uh, this tail wire. This was the uh, top basic wire. So we're going to take these two wires and twist it together. 
about once, but make sure it's nice and secure that you have room for one wrap. You don't want to wrap too much. All right, so let's undo the knot here. And string on 20 beads on to the top piece of wire. Now let's make the pointed top and round bottom. Wrap it around twice. Again, hold on to the center. You see um, this uh, wire right here. We're gonna hold on to the center and pull. So that moves that wire in a little bit and you don't see it. That's a lot of wire right here. Um, I guess you don't need to have that much of a top basic wire. Um, it looks like maybe about six inches, six to seven inches would be plenty when you start out instead of the eight. All right, so let's cut uh, another tail off of the spool. Let's move that out of the way. And now we're going to lace these along the middle here. All right, now let's lace. Now shape the tails. Bend it over your finger and shape. If you like the pattern for the large bow and want to know what to do with the tail wires, stay tuned. If you like this project and would like to learn more about French bead flowers, you may be interested in my two French beading books, Bead Flora, The Revival of French Beaded Flowers. This book will walk a beginner step-by-step -step on making beaded flowers, and my second book, French Beaded Branches in Bloom, you will be exploring branching blooms using some very interesting technique gymnastics. You can find signed copies on my website or all major book retailers online. The tutorial that I showed you was for the small bow. If you like to make the large bow, um, you would start out with 40 beads for the basic frame, for the for the bows, and then 40 beads for the tails also. Um, string 24 inches of beads onto a spool of wire. Now let's talk a little bit about the tail wires and what you can do with them. Now for this one, I just twisted the wires around in a circle and with this, you can just um, glue it on a gift box. So that's very nice. For this one, I um, twisted the wires around and made a little loop. And for ones that I don't know if I want to glue it on a box or if I want to hang it as an ornament, I still made the loop. So I'm just going, and then I'm just going to bend it down to hide it. If I want to glue it onto a gift box, I can certainly still do that. Or I can bend the loop up and I can still use it as an ornament. So that's um, nice and versatile. Will you be making these little beaded bows and how will you be using them? Let me know in the comments below and happy beading.